mental health is related to everything in one's life. And our job is to help people live a better quality life. Lodi Mental Health has two main sectors attached to it. It's the workshop, Lodi Mental Health Protective Workshop, and then we also provide social work services. We focus mainly on people with intellectual disabilities, people with mental illnesses, and the psychosocial disabilities related to all this. People who are struggling, like beneficiaries who are living with mental illnesses, people who are misunderstood by the world. So the desire to see them happy, that's what motivates me to do my work on a daily basis. I work in a multidisciplinary team consisting of psychiatrists, occupational therapists, psychologists, and teachers who are trained in sign language. So I learn a lot from all these professions. Mental health is a very complex issue and also very complicated work. Nobody can do it on their own. So you need all the other stakeholders in the community. And we have excellent networking relationship with all the organizations. The Department of Social Work and Criminology places social work for year students as part of their community engagement. And Laudia Mental Health is one of our organizations where our students are coming for community work, to come and do group work, and even do individual work with service users. We seriously suffer with staff shortages, and we have to find ways and means, and this is another reason why we partner with the universities, because when their students come here, they are very helpful, you know, they really help us a lot. And of course, they in turn learn a lot from us and we also learn from them. Usually what the government does is they would not just start a service for a need that exists in the community. One needs to prove to them that there's a need for this. So you need to initiate projects. We had a few mothers who had children with intellectual disabilities. So they started meeting each other and discussing their challenges. And it, it started with a cup of tea, kind of. You know, this project grew from that. So then Lodi Mental Health slowly started a workshop in a little tea room at the offices on this premises. From that, it grew, and at the moment, we have 100 beneficiaries. It's a beautiful workshop. It's serving the purpose of psychosocial rehabilitation for our adults with intellectual disability. COVID-19 has turned the world upside down. There were times where we were just not seeing anybody in our offices. Our workshops were closed. We were only doing telephonic counseling. We were doing virtual counseling. Mental health problems have increased tremendously. People have been isolating, and especially for our workshop, because the workshop is the place where they have their routine and structure, and they do everything. So they, they are very passionate about coming. Thank you for giving me a chance to talk about my mind. I have a learning disability. I was not fast like other kids. Teachers, they took me to a um, special school where the class that I was attending, it was suing. After that, I went to a school, a normal school, where I was so suffering. I was not fast like other kids. I was failing my tests. I'm now in Buenal City College where I'm studying computer course which is for three, six months, yes. And um, I like the computer. Speaking out is probably the biggest thing because there's a silence and there's a stigma attached to mental health, which I really hope we can break because people are too scared that they would be dealt with differently, that they would be treated um, differently if they speak out and if they say, I'm not okay. 
we all find ourselves at some stage not feeling okay. And if we can deal with that earlier rather than later, there's so much more that we can do. My wish is, is that one day I wish I could wear a graduate gown, see myself and making my parents proud of me. And I want to tell everyone that they must res mm, respect our disability and understand because we didn't choose to be like this. And then um, they may they may not judge us the way we are because we didn't choose. Nordia Mental Health is doing amazing work, but we need many more organisations like this based in the community, in rural places, in urban places. It would make an amazing difference. If we don't have basic mental health, what do we have? And in mental health, we always say there is no health without mental health. We want the Department of Education to make a mental health subject compulsory for all children, where it can become a normal topic of discussion, where we don't have to hide, we can go for treatment, we can invest in it. Most people don't know that mental health relates to so many issues. Now we are facing a crisis of gender-based violence. We are facing bullying at schools. We are facing discrimination. But if more people knew about mental health, such issues could be avoided. So that's my plea to government. We want to make life better for everybody. So even if you don't have a mental illness, we can always improve our lives. So there is always a need for mental health service. And we should take that seriously. And now they're trying.